My name is Dr. David Poplack. My handprint tells my story. I'm director of Texas Children's Cancer and Hematology Centers. It's located here in Houston, Texas, uh, and it's the largest children's uh, cancer center in the United States. September is Pediatric Cancer Awareness Month. I think it's a critically important time of the year uh, because most people don't think about pediatric cancer. And whereas it's much more common in adults, it's extremely devastating in children. I've been in this field for over 40 years, and during that time, survival has gone from 20% for children with cancer to over 80%. That's really uh, quite remarkable. I don't know where we would be, frankly, if we didn't have for example, Hyundai Hope on Wheels, and didn't have the amount of money that's been injected into our pediatric cancer research community, it has made a transformational impact on research. It's enabled many researchers to um, go forward with very innovative and very impactful research. So the quantum grants are interesting in their uniqueness. They provide $250,000 a year for four successive years, which is an amazing amount of money. It will enable a physician researcher to focus on doing the research rather than spending, as most do, more than a third of their time on trying to get grant monies to perform their research. There's a quantum grant, for example, um, that is for brain tumor research. There's also a grant for targeting those solid tumors that are most difficult uh, to treat. Uh, there's one specifically for high-risk leukemia, acute myelogenous leukemia, and then there's also one for a very difficult to treat solid tumor called osteogenic sarcoma. Those different types of grants are specifically looking for the most potentially impactful type of research that will help us develop new therapies for each of those different types of diseases. I think that it's wonderful that uh, the pink ribbon has become symbolic of the fight against uh, breast cancer and I'm hoping that the gold ribbon, which is the symbol of pediatric cancer awareness, will become uh, as well known because I think it's critically important for all of us to recognize that even one child with the diagnosis of cancer is too much. <laughs>